friends in this video we will study the command instruction format of the a251 programmable communication interface which is sometimes also known as the universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter or usart so let us start with our topic <music> The A251, which is the programmable communication interface, it is used as an interface, or we can say as a mediator between the peripheral devices and the microprocessors. When the microprocessors they are communicating with the peripheral devices, they have to convert the parallel data into the serial data, and also they have to convert the serial data into parallel data. So instead of the microprocessor doing these operations, they used an interface that is A251, which performs these functions for the microprocessor. The A251 it is going to transmit the uh, it is going to convert the parallel data into the serial data and send it to the peripheral devices. And also it is going to receive the serial data from the peripheral devices and going to convert it into parallel data for the microprocessors. Now, uh, because these functions are to be performed by the A251, so the microprocessor time to time it gives commands to the A251 that which operation it has to perform. So what the microprocessor does, it gives the command or it writes the command instruction into the control register of the A251. There are two types of control words in the A251, mode instruction and the command instruction. Mode instruction determines the functions of the A251 and the command instruction it gives the, uh, it provides the command from the CPU to the A251. So here we are studying the command instruction format of the A251. Now command instruction, this uh, control word is used for setting the operation of the 8251. That in which, uh, what are the operations the 8251 it is going to perform. And this is provided by the CPU uh, and this is written by the CPU into the control registers. So let us see that what are the items which are set by this con command instruction. The command instruction, it decides these factors. It is going to enable or disable the transmitter and the receiver section of the A251 because A251, it can transmit the data also and it can receive the data also. So the transmitting operation and the receiving operation, they can be enabled and disabled using the command instruction. Next, we are having data terminal ready and request to send. These are the output signals from the A251 which are sent to the peripheral devices. So, these signals are also decided by the command instruction format. Then, resetting of the error flag can also be done. Sending the break characters, that is also decided by the command instruction. Internal resetting of the 8251 can also be done through it. And uh, whether the 8251 it is working in the hunt mode or not, means the enabling and disabling of the hunt mode can be done through the command instruction. So, let us see the 
format of this command instruction because it is a control word so it will be written in the control register which is an 8 bit register so there will be 8 bits of this command instruction so let us see that how the 8 bits are defined in this These are the 8 bits of the control register. The D7 bit is the EH, D6 is IR, D5 is RTS, D4 is ER, D3 is SBRK, D2 is RXE, D1 is DTR and TXEN. So as I have said that uh, this uh, command instruction it is used for setting the various items. So you will see that in these 8 bits all the items are specified here. D0 bit it is for enabling the transmitting operation. So when this bit is 1, then transmit is enabled and when this bit is 0, then transmit is disabled. So through this D0 bit, the transmitter uh, transmitting operation of the 8251, it can be enabled or disabled. Then we are having DTR, which is the data terminal ready. This DTR is also a pin available on the 8251 IC. So through this command instruction, we can set this DTR pin high or low. So when this is 1, because DTR pin, it is an active low signal. So when this bit is 1, then the DTR pin will be reset or 0 will be available there and we, we can say it will be low signal will be available at that and DTR signal will be activated okay and when it is 0 then DTR signal will not be available it will be deactivated next we are having RXE which is the receiver enable So again, if it is 1, then the receiver will be enabled. If it is 0, then receiver will be disabled. Okay. Then we are having SBRK, which is the send break character. Okay. So if this bit is 1, then it is going to force the transmit data pin to be low. And when it is 0, then normal operation of the 8251 will be performed. So when this bit is 1, then the TXD pin of the 8251, it will be made low and the break characters are sent. And if it is 0, then normal operation will be performed. Then we are having ER which is the error test. As I have said that the command instruction is also used for setting the error flag. So this bit D4 bit is used for that purpose. If this bit is 1 then it is going to reset the error flags. Error flags are like the parity error flags and the overflow flags. All these flags, they will be reset, the error flags. So it is used for resetting the error flags. Then we are having RTS, which is request to send. This is also a pin which is available on the uh, IC8251. So when this signal is 1, then RTS 
which is also an active low signal it will be activated it will be made low and when it is zero then rts will be high it will be deactivated so these two bits d5 bit and d1 bit these are used for making the rts and the dtr pins of the 8251 activated then we are having ir which is for the internal reset Now internal reset means that uh, we are internally through some software or through some instruction we are resetting the 8251. So when this pin is 1 then 8251 will be reset and whenever the 8251 is reset after resetting whatever instruction or whatever control word is written in the control register that will be treated as the mode instruction okay so after uh, this internal resetting will be done through the command instruction but after resetting whatever control word is written that will be the mode instruction eh to enter the hunt mode when this pin is 1 then the 8251 it enters into the hunt mode or we can say that it enables the search operation searching of the sync characters So these are the 8 bits of the control register, control word or we can say command instruction which are used for setting the operations of the 8251. You can see that it is used for enabling and disabling of the transmitter and the receiver. It is used to activate the request to send and data terminal ready pins also and it is used for resetting the error flags and in the internal resetting. Also it is used for for entering or enabling the hunt mode and for sending the break characters so these are the eight bits which are defined or we can say this is the format of the command instruction of the 8251 programmable communication interface which is also known as the universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter or USA RT. So I hope that this topic is now clear to you. Thank you.